<laughs> With DLSS 4.5, are we finally getting 16 times the detail? Well, let me tell you, I have never seen DLSS performance at 4K looking this good. Like I'm looking at it. Okay, it's a 65 inch TV. My nose is on the screen and I cannot see the problems. Okay, this thing looks absolutely unbelievable. Now, this is Avatar with unobtainium settings, which is very demanding. Okay, so all our games are gonna run better. <laughs> but right now, DLSS performance with frame generation. And we're getting 120 FPS with a 5090. <laughs> okay, so that's like very, very hard to run. But other games run a lot better. I've been trying them and it's just unbelievable. Now, to be fair on this one, I am using the preset, uh, let me see, it's preset L, this one, which is supposed to be used for ultra performance. Okay, and I'm actually using it with performance. It's more demanding. Okay, but the preset M, that's the latest one, that's the one you're supposed to use with DLSS performance, balance, and quality. Now, how do you get this working? How do you actually install DLSS 4.5 on your RTX GPU. It's very, this is not so simple as just downloading the drivers. You have to go first to settings on the NVIDIA app, go to settings and then about. And you have to enable, you have to check this early access box. So you can get this DLSS 4.5 before it releases officially, okay? So you have to check this box, opt in to access beta or experimental features. So check that, download the latest drivers, and you are going to see here under graphics on each game or the global settings, you're gonna see here under DLSS override, the new presets. So go here to custom. Make sure you go to custom just in case because usually what I do here is latest. You know, just use the latest one. But just to make sure you select the right one, go to custom and then in super resolution, you wanna scroll down, make sure to scroll down here and get preset M. That's the one for performance, balance or quality. Now, if you wanna go DLSS Ultra Performance for a competitive game, you try this preset L. And it's supposed to look much better, but it's a little bit more demanding, so you cannot use preset L. Oh, you can, but <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. Actually, let's try that. Uh, I'm using preset L right now on, on Avatar. Let's try that. So let's see how much we can get with preset L and DLSS quality, for example. <laughs> we have frame generation already, 2x. So let's see, if I go to, if I go from performance, see we have it right here. If I go from performance to quality <laughs> with unobtainium settings, let's see what we get here. 90 FPS. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Can I tell the difference right now? 65 inch TV, my nose on the screen. Can I tell the difference between DLSS quality with this new transformer model and preset L and DLSS performance? Let me see. <laughs> okay, looks incredible. I have to say, if I go to performance, Let's see. Let's go back. I mean, I wish I could change it in real time because I mean, it's so hard to tell. Yeah, maybe. It is like, hmm, is, is it worse? Not sure about it. 
Now, I am very sensitive to these things because I definitely notice in this game, for example, that if I use the ray reconstruction in this game, it, it just ruins the... I mean, it improves the reflections, which are broken in this game. They are so bad looking. It's unbelievable how bad the reflections look. If you don't use ray reconstruction, the reflections are a boily mess. But if you use it, now the reflections are better, but the whole sharpness of the game is wrong. It's just so blurry. And actually, I downloaded, just in case, the DLSS 4.5 files. We have three files, one for ray reconstruction, for the upscaling for super resolution, and one for, for, frame, for frame generation. I downloaded them and replaced it on the, on the game installation folder, hoping that ray reconstruction was going to be fixed. Maybe it's not working. I don't know. This is just a blurry mess. I mean, it, this looks like DLSS 3 or worse. Than the LS, worse than the LSS3, probably. There's something wrong with the sharpness when you use ray reconstruction on this outer game. But if you turn it off, you get your terrible reflections. I mean, there's no way to get perfect graphics on this game, <laughs> no matter what. Um, so you get your terrible reflections, but now uh, the sharpness looks like it should. And it's just absolutely incredible, man. Absolutely incredible. Now it's Again, extremely demanding to <laughs> just 120 FPS with DLSS performance on a 5090, but the game looks unbelievable. Unbelievable with these unobtainium settings. I wish that the textures, your know, resolution was a little bit higher because when you get very close to some, some objects, you can see that they are not holding up. The, the textures could be, it's not like Horizon Forbidden West, you can, or you know, Ratchet and Clank, you keep getting close to it and, and the detail is there. It's not as that like that, but very impressive at times. So yeah, I mean, this, I mean, let me tell you, I know AMD is trying their best. They have the value sometimes, you know, more FPS and for the dollar and all of that, but you cannot compete with this. Okay, there's no option. You have to give all your money to Nvidia. <laughs> Because of this, man, it, this is just amazing. Even if you have an older RTX GPU, and this is very demanding, of course, but you're getting an image quality improvement that is just unbelievable, just based on the on the upscaling technology. And it's as simple as just downloading the latest drivers or just copy and paste the latest DLSS file. And it's just unbelievable. We can get that image quality improvement absolutely incredible so for me already dlss4 fixed my you know biggest complaints with the taa era blurriness uh, you know i was one that definitely <laughs> suffered that taa era it, everything just looks blurry and then you have to use uh, sharpness which never looks right. So no matter what you do, reshade or the game, sharpness slider, never looks right. And DLSS 4 came, NVIDIA didn't make a big deal about it. Big, I mean, big mistake. That's the, that's the best thing they, they, they've ever done, in my opinion, DLSS 4. And I was so happy with that already. Now, this is even better. Even better. And of course, if I take screenshot of multiple games and compare them side by side, you know, we can clearly see better the detail. I think other channels do a better job with that. You know, when I have a little bit of time, I want to play my games <laughs> and not have to be, you know, working that hard on the videos because I actually like to play. Um, so if we do that, yeah, we can see better the detail. I wish we could go back and forth in real time like they had at CES to really see the, the difference on every game. So, you know, it depends on the game, it depends on the example. Some games are gonna be, you know, big, big improvements. Some games are gonna be a little bit less, but the difference is gonna be there. And it's all about the details. Even if it's just an improvement on the fine details, that's exactly 
That's exactly. That's the most important thing, especially if you're playing on a big TV. You can get you know, your nose close to it. It's amazing. It's just wow. I couldn't be uh, happier with that because it, it also gives you the you know the dream. You know, it's gonna keep getting better. So next year, you know, the new GPUs come out. And my games are going to look better because they're probably going to have DLSS 5. And so it's like you buy your GPU and you know it's going to, you know, the, the technology is going to go up and you don't have to necessarily buy the new GPUs to get that improvement. Uh, that's a big, big deal. Now, of course, multi, you know, MFG variable, you know, multi frame generation is only available for. Um, for the you know, 5,000 series GPUs, and that absolutely sucks. Okay, don't get me wrong. <laughs> that's that's a bad thing. Nvidia should definitely, uh -oh. they should definitely allow that for all the RTX GPUs, and they don't. Um, I cannot see when they play the game like this. <laughs> it's very hard. But yeah, let's. I mean, somehow they want to make you buy a new one. It's, they're greedy, okay? They're still bad. <laughs> but if you are, if you want to have the best upscaling, you have to send them the check. Okay, we have to. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but so this is this is really the highlight um, with NVIDIA, man. It, does, it just doesn't matter how cheap AMD gets. If they cannot compete with the upscaling, it's just there's no reason for me. There's no way I would ever consider them. Even at the same power level and a cheaper price, no way, because this is the reason. This is the this is the most important thing. It, it is the sharpness of the game. It's gonna affect the way the game looks um, overall. And yeah, I have never seen DLSS performance look better than this. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you have any questions, if you got this working, which game have you tried uh, and see the you know the biggest improvement? Um, yeah, and let me know if you have any issues, uh, you know, getting this working or something, or if there is any other secrets that I that I'm not aware of. Share that. And thanks for watching the video. Until the next one.